to have and to hold. This may be a wish for everyone. However, there are few couples who often come out to say that being in marriage is a bed of roses. From this day forth, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In Uganda, in sickness in and in health, only five types of marriage are permitted, as Council Georgia Musi highlights. First type are the Christian marriages, and those are the ones which are regulated by uh, uh, for our brothers who believe in the Christian faith. And that type of marriage uh, acknowledges one man and one woman for life. The other type of marriages are the civil marriages, uh, which are celebrated by government officers. They are celebrated before a government officer. Marriage which is regulated by the Sharia law and uh, celebrated according to the practices of uh, the Islamic uh, teachings. Uh, the third type are those marriages which are regulated under the customs, uh, the customary practices. And usually these ones we follow the tradition and customs of the woman who is being married. These marriages, however, have laws that govern them. And if one decides to go for one, he or she is duty bound to abide with the laws governing them. Uh, and courts have interpreted that uh, to mean that a church marriage should be between a man and woman for life. And unless it's dissolved by court, you cannot legally contract any other marriage. It's not possible for human life, human nature, to have rigid laws. You can see even the constitution that God being amended. According to the Bible, if one involves in Christian marriage, one is also duty bound to stick on the vows he or she took. However, Pastor Simeon Kayo has a contrary view. A verse 10 of 1 Corinthians chapter 7. He says, To the married I give this charge, not I but the Lord. The wife should not separate from her husband. So it is an instruction of the Lord that once you get into a covenant, you must keep it to the end. Now, Matthew 19, verse 6, the Bible says, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. This is a country full of distress and thieves. You can't do that. You not put your, your postage at the door. You have to knock and somebody locks it in and then you go. You cannot keep people together who are going to murder each other. If I want a wife, don't you know that women can give poison to their husbands? But under what circumstances can one decide to go for divorce? Uh, some of the grounds include adultery, some of the adultery whether where one of the parties has committed adultery. Of course, it's the duty of the petitioner to bring evidence to show that the other party has committed adultery. Um, when they have reached a point at which they will murder each other. They will be homicide. There is desertion. Desertion is where one of the partners leaves the other. Uh, they could go out of the country, they could be in the country, but they have left the home. And then the most common ground is cruelty. It could be physical cruelty, it could be emotional or psychological cruelty. The head of mission at Naminembe Diocese, Reverend Samuel Mwonge, says, in all patient and prayers, plays a big role in marriage. For those of you who want to enter into marriage, remember the six P's. Proper, prior, preparation, prevents, poor performance. Don't just get excited, no. Don't look at a bum and you're, oh, ah, ah. Prepare yourself very well. Listen from the Lord. Ask God, is this the right person? And once God endorses, I want to assure you, Happiness is on your way. On several occasions, it has been hard to find a stable marriage, especially in the youth. But what could be the root cause? Don't come into marriage because of excitement. Don't come into it because of pressure. You need to pray. You need to wait upon the Lord. You need to ask God whether the person you are going with is the right person. Cancer Judge Musi also highlights on the steps one has to go through to go for a divorce. Uh, courts exist to protect marriages. But also courts have to balance the issue of uh, uh, maintaining the marriage harmony and also the, not forcing people to live together who are tired of each other. So any person who petitions court, the first issue she has to prove is whether there are grounds which exist for purposes of uh, dissolving that marriage. process of being in court, the whole time you're in court, unless court issues an order which is called a decree absolute, you are not supposed to celebrate any other marriage. You are deemed as husband and wife. So it's an offense. If convicted, they face a penalty of a maximum of five years in prison. Deborah Namamonde, Nantongo Rebecca, UBC News.